Now let's talk about add-ons. In order for you to access these amazing add-ons as part of your Jeep Beach 22 experience, you must have your basic registration. And again, that registration is $80 up until April 15th. Starting April 16th, it becomes $100 and we do not ship it to you. If we have already shipped your registration packet to you, go put it in your Jeep now so you don't forget it. You gotta have that windshield sticker and you gotta have all your credential hang tags for these great add-ons. Now, what are the add-ons? Camping is our first add-on. If you have registered for camping, please go back and watch or find, search out that camping video because we've given you lots of great information there. But a real quick recap is you check in for camping at gate 40 and all things will be handled there for you. Next is our off-road experience. What is our off-road experience? It is trail riding and mud playing and a couple of obstacles, right? And Florida, as you know, we don't have mountains, we don't have boulders, we don't have cliffs, we don't have the beautiful landscape of Moab, but we do have beautiful Florida landscape. And part of that beautiful Florida landscape is mud, you guys, that's right. So if you wanna go get dirty, get on some trails, play on a couple of man-made obstacles, then you wanna register for the off-road experience. The venue requires a notarized signed document waiver before you can access this property. So you have to go in and check in at gate 70 in order to get your credentials for the off-road experience. Now, moving on, show and shine. It's sold out, you guys. <laughs> so this is just a little bit of teaser and maybe a disappointment for those that did not make it to the 300 Jeeps that we have registered for the show and shine. All of those should have already gone out. Those of you that registered those 300 Jeeps, you should already have your hang tag. Please do not lose that hang tag. If you do lose that hang tag, in order to access the show and shine area, you're gonna have to go to gate 70 to get a replacement. There is a replacement fee. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't remember what it is. <laughs> but there is a minimal replacement fee for the show and shine. You will be able to pick up that at gate 70. Otherwise, you should have what you need in that registration pack, put it in your Jeep. You're gonna keep hearing me say that. Next on the list is the sound and light competition. You guys, what a great competition this is. This is the only IASCA sanctioned Jeep competition in the world and IASCA formulates, I think we've already done a video out there for IASCA, and they judge quality, sound, and light, you guys, and they have formulated your own criteria for Jeeps because we're not cars, we're not trucks, we're not um, boats, we're, we are our own unique vehicle, and IASCA has joined with Sound Crafters in order to make sure that you guys have the best judging experience. There are still openings for the sound and light competition, but I think only a dozen or so. So you wanna make sure that you get online and add that sound and light to your package. The cool thing about this is, even if you're not wanting to compete for a big trophy because you don't have a $200,000 stereo system, guess what? Don't fool yourself. It's not just on the sound and how loud, right? It's on the quality too. So you may have done some of your own engineering and have a really great sound that could win you, a, win you an award, as well as you can get judged and those judges will help you enhance your audio and your lighting. Your credentials for that should also be in your registration pack, okay? If you're not sure if you wanna add that on, more than likely we might have a handful of spaces that lead up to that sound and light competition on Wednesday night, go to gate 70, okay? If you've already got your registration and you get here and you're like, you know what, I really have decided I wanna go do that, go to gate 70 and they'll get you hooked up as well. Moving on now. All right, track laps, this is a big one. There's a thousand of you or 900 of you or however many there are, right? And I think those are almost sold out as well. Those track laps, make sure that you have your track lap time, your track lap hang tag, because you're going to have to have it in order to get onto the Daytona International Speedway on Wednesday, April 27th. Where do you check in? 
you will check in at gate 70 also. Are you seeing a theme here, you guys? Gate 70 is all things registration and an information hub where you need to go to access all of these things. So track laps, very important. Again, this one may be really close to being sold out, if not already sold out while I'm making this video. So make sure if it was mailed to you, you have that hang tag go put it in your Jeep. <laughs> I think you've heard that before as well. And arrive 30 minutes prior to your track lap time so they can get you checked in, waiver signed, and get you staged. Gate 70, all things, right? Last but not least, and super exciting for Jeep Beach 22 is your top and door storage. That's right, we've given you a secure location inside the Daytona International Speedway in the garages to store your tops and doors. If you've ever tried to tote a hard top up an elevator to, you know, say the sixth floor, holy moly, what a challenge that is, right? Now we've got a location where you can come and drop it. But again, you have to have your registration for Jeep Beach 22 in order to access the top and st door storage that we offer you. So it is an add-on. You do get a hang tag that says top and door storage, and we will direct you to where that is. Now, you are responsible for your tops and doors. Although we've hired a valet company and they're going to be great at helping you access, tag, all of the things that you need for that storage, you're responsible for the removal of your doors, the removal of your tops, and the security of your tops, okay? Yes, it's in a secure location, but when I say that, I mean locking them up. And we suggest, again, people are honest and we are all jamly, but sometimes accidents happen, right? So if you have your doors and your tops locked and secured to the the railing that we have in these garages you're gonna that's gonna be your best bet um, we will have locks some available my suggestion to you is bring your own from home you guys okay so bring a cable bring a lock bring blankets and sheets to protect them it is a concrete garage after all right and we don't want things to get scratched and you will have your own section to store your top and doors but ultimately you're going to be responsible for getting them in position getting them secure the other thing about this you guys is what about inclement weather Yes, you have access to it, okay? If our gates are open, you have access to the tops and doors from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., all right? So if there is a chance of weather, which we'll have weather updates going on on JBR, we'll have all kinds of stuff to inform you if we are, you know, getting ready to experience any kind of inclement weather, which we don't talk about the R word because it's liquid sunshine and we're not gonna have that this year. But if we do get some liquid sunshine, you will be able to access the garage to go get your tops and doors. And again, there is a valet there who will check your credentials to make sure that you're getting the proper uh, tops and doors to get back onto your Jeep. So if you lose that hang tag, again, nominal fee, you have to go back over to gate 70 and make sure you get a, re a replacement hang tag in order to access those garages where we'll be storing that for you. So as I've said throughout this whole video, this one was a lot because add-ons create an amazing experience for you guys. Again, you have to have your regular registration in order to add these add-ons. And we can't wait to see you just experience the best Jeep Beach ever, Jeep Beach 22 Tiki Island is going to be off the chains, off the charts, everything huge, everything bigger this year. And we can't wait to see you guys starting April 25th. Bye y'all.